video explains the usage of keychain dumper tool on the iPhone. The tool is used to dump all the data from the iPhone keychain. On the iPhone keychain database is used by multiple applications to store the usernames and passwords. For the demo, I am using Mac OS machine and iPhone 4 which are connected to the same network. Before following the video, jailbreak the iPhone and install OpenSSH from Cydia. On Mac OS, install and run the CyberDAC to connect to the phone over SSH. CyberDAC allows to browse the folders on the iPhone. To locate the keychain database, navigate to private where keychains folder. You can notice that the keychain is stored as a keychain iPhone2.db file. I am dragging the keychain database file from the iPhone to Mac OS and will try to view the contents. Keychain is an encrypted container and a centralized SQLite database that holds identities and passwords for multiple applications and network services. Keychain database file is encrypted with a hardware key. So even if we move the keychain db file to workstation, we can't read the data because it is encrypted. To open the db file on Mac OS, I have downloaded SQLite browser. If we open keychain db file with SQLite browser, it will list out the tables in the keychain. On the iPhone, all the keychain data is classified into four tables. To take a look at the generic password table data, click on browse data option in the SQLite browser. Here, special symbols indicate that the content is encrypted. In Keychain, data is logically zoned and data stored by one application is not accessible to other application. This is controlled by access group value stored in the AGRP column. With iOS 4, data production was introduced to add another layer encryption to Keychain items. Data production accessibility constraints of a Keychain item are mapped to PDMN column. This value determines when a keychain item should be readable by an application. Now we will browse the keychain db directly on the iPhone. Open terminal on Mac OS and connect to the phone over SSH. On the iPhone, download SQLite 3 package from Cydia. SQLite 3 can be used to open the keychain db file. Here we can try few SQL commands. For example, dot tables list out the table names, dot schema list out the column names. We can also use select statements to fetch the data. You can notice that the data is still encrypted and it is only accessible to the application which has created that entry. But on a jailbroken device, we can view the, all the keychain entries with the help of keychain dumper tool. On Mac OS, download the keychain dumper tool and extract the zip file and copy the keychain dumper to iPhone root directory using CyberDAC. Actually, the keychain service restricts the keychain data access based on the application identifier. By default, applications can only access data associated with their own application identifier. Later, keychain access groups were introduced to share the keychain items across multiple applications. Applications with the same keychain access group entitlements can access and read the keychain items. On a jailbroken device, this restriction can be bypassed by designing an application and making it as a member of all the keychain access groups. Keychain dumper uses wildcard entitlement which maps to all the keychain access groups and it gives access to all the keychain items. So after copying the keychain dumper, open terminal and use chmod command to provide executable permissions to the keychain dumper. Now run the keychain dumper. It will list out all the keychain items. You can see here it will list, it listed out all the usernames and passwords stored in the keychain. The highlighted one is my Wi-Fi username and password. We can also dump certificates and keys stored in the keychain database with iPhone C option to the keychain dumper. The video demonstrates that the keychain security is broken. Though Apple has designed the iOS keychain with best security features in place, it is broken at every level. So if iOS applications relies only on the Apple provided security, they can be broken if iOS security is broken. If you are writing an iOS application, its security can be improved by using the custom encryption along with the data protection API while adding the keychain entries.